and welcome to another episode of Life and Style with Zara. I'm your host, Zara Durrani. There are many ancient practices designed to help us connect with the mind, body, and spirit, from Reiki to Tai Chi. Today we're going to be looking at acupuncture and Thai yoga massage. We'll be meeting with expert practitioners from both those fields and discussing the role faith and spirituality play in both of them. Let's see what they have to say. Thai yoga massage has been around for over 2,000 years. Right now joining us is Hans Verheyen, who is a Thai yoga massage practitioner. Hans, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. So thank you for joining us today. Tell us, tell our viewers about Thai yoga massage. Uh, thai yoga massage, it started in Thailand. It's a form of body work. Um, we use a lot of, a lot of our own body um, to do the massage, where he has a lot of forms, just use the hands. We use, can use our elbows, our knees, our feet. Uh, we go through a variety of stretches and twisting, just kind of like yoga. Um, does the same thing. A lot of the stretches and postures that we do are similar to yoga. So would you say that like yoga, it is a supported form of yoga? Absolutely, like yes. That's the, A lot of people call it lazy man's yoga. Because mm -hmm. um, it is really similar and you, you don't have to do anything. Okay. Now in the West over here, a Thai yoga massage is used for a lot of its medicinal and health benefits. Can you touch on some of those? The benefits for Thai massage? Mm -hmm. um, I think here in the West, a lot of it is, is tension release. We live in a busy society. Um, a lot of people are behind desks or shoulders area is always a, is a big one. Um, but I think it's, it's very important to just slow down. We have, I always do at least an hour and a half massage. Um, to take the time and slow down, work on the energy lines. Um, and just a lot of space in the body, create space between stretches and twisting. Now, um, when you're practicing on someone, are you able to tell where they're holding in their body? Or, you know, when you're working with energy all the time, like, are you able to feel that? And where people are holding? Yes, absolutely. Especially, especially with when you work on the energy lines, some pressure points, just like they have in Chinese medicine. Um, you can feel when you press on them that either the person begins to shake a little or you just feel the tension. You can, you can see it when a person walks in where, you, where the problems are. Yeah, absolutely. How would you connect Thai yoga massage with spirituality? Do you feel there's a spiritual benefit there? Um, yes, uh, we work a lot with the breath. Um, it kind of depends on the person too, of course, if, if, they're, if they're open to spirituality and the concept of energy lines and pressure points. Um, but if they do, it can be a very beneficial method to, to release, to work with the breath um, and to really just close your eyes for an hour and a half and go within your own body and just feel where, where the trigger points are. Mm -hmm. It's a good place to connect and a lot of people after the massage make comments like, oh, I didn't even know I had muscles there or I didn't know I was so tight because you kind of, you, you forget about your own body. Now, you're mentioning a lot about energy points for viewers who don't know what we're talking about. Mm. Can you explain energy points? Uh, it's basically, there's, there's energy just all around us in the universe. I think that's a pretty well understood. Um, and again, like, like acupuncture, pressure points. And sometimes in, in some of the points, the pressure can build up, um, the tension can build up, and it, you, can, you can apply the pressure to, to release it. Now, in a way, can we say that that is a part of it is the divine energy that is flowing through us and because we're so busy in our city lives, working all the time in the office, like you're saying, that because when we t stop to take the time for ourselves, that that's one of the reasons that, you know, because we get so busy with our lives that when we don't make time for our own selves, that's when the blockages happen. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, would you like to tell our viewers about any other benefits of Thai yoga or any concerns you ever hear from people who have not tried Thai yoga? Um, I think it's great for everybody. Um, I've massaged um, people from kids to teenagers to, to older people. It can be a variety of reasons. Um, I find pregnancy um, is a big help because people, ladies, um, can especially later on in the stage, they, they start to have a lot of back problems or hip problems. And through the massage, uh, we can definitely definitely work on that to re release the hips or the back. Um, but a lot of other common problems, like just upper tension, um, back problems, um, sciatic um, issues, 
yeah, all of those can, can be alleviated. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us today. No problem. Thank you.